What's up, roadies? It's your boy, Leroy, the do-it-yourself advisor, coming to you with another exciting tutorial. Today, I'm merely just doing an oil change. Um, if you ever decided to change your own oil, make sure you have something that can hold at least 42 quarts of the dirty oil that you drain out. We're doing this on a 2020 Freightliner Cascadia. And uh, my preference is well, my non-preference is this, this year vehicle because to access the, um, the oil pan, you have to remove the bumper. It's absolutely impossible to do it without removing the bumper. So let me show you how to remove the bumper. Okay, I'm on the left side of the engine and the bumper is held by these four bolts. One, two, three, and four. See them? And uh, you remove those on each side of the unit and the bumper comes out. As a matter of fact, this right here, this little skinny tab thingy, this is what mounts the bumper. Once you remove the bolt, this comes in and secures it. It hooks onto there. And the same thing on the right side. Bolt number one, two, three and four okay. so these particular bolts are 5 8 then I go over to the other side and do the exact same thing and now to remove the bumper you got you got to close the hose on the hood Close the hood. Lift up. Let you grab that hole. And out. After all that, now you're ready to change the oil. <laughs> yeah, these 2020s, uh, I don't like them. Okay, hood's open. And we're under the unit on the right hand side that is your drain plug and um, slide your drain pan under here open her up and you're good to go and now you use your half inch wrench and extension get inside Get your oil pan in position. And you can remove the plug by hand. Now be careful, it has a copper washer on there. You want to make sure to remove that and replace it with a new one when you change the filter. How about that? Some Texas tea. And now to remove the filter, which is right here. Here's your oil filler tube. Here's your oil filter housing. You use a 36 millimeter socket and remove. And you see the filter is still connected to the to the cap. So this is how you remedy that. Nice little tap. And the cap is off. Now you continue let the oil filter drain as the oil is draining. Now inside this box you have everything you need to replace the oil filter. You have the oil filter. 
that brass washer I was talking about on the drain plug, and your O-ring for the cap. So let's get this O-ring on here. And it's, you put it right in the obvious place, in the groove. Right there, put a little bit of lube on there. This part of your filter goes inside. Okay, that's it for the filter. Now we go underneath and put this uh, copper washer on the drain plug and install the plug. Okay, time for some Texas tea. Remember, 44 quarts. And that's pretty much it. That's how you replace your oil and your oil filter. Ooh, it's messy sometimes. So if you like the video, hit like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so the next time I post another fantastic video, you'll be the first to know. Buckle up, dry safe.